YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I am right in the middle of wiring right now. I was actually just about to make a crimp, and then uh, I got I got a little distracted because my Amazon delivery showed up to the shop, and uh, my graduated cylinder arrived. And this is actually something I've been so excited. This has taken so long to get here. But when I was studying for L1, which is past my ASC L1, no, I'm not going to stop telling you. I'm very proud. Uh, this is the book I was studying in. I learned something really neat in this book. I'm going to read it to you and we're going to do a little experiment together about fuel quality. And really the, the point of this was like to not overlook the basics when you have a drivability issue on a vehicle uh, and to not overlook fuel quality and of course fuel pressure. But this is a little section on fuel quality that I'm going to read to you right here in this Motor Age book and I'm reading to you from page 29. Fuel quality. Many areas of the country use oxygenated fuels to improve air quality. Oxygenates are alcohols such as ethanol and ether that add oxygen to the air fuel mixture. This helps reduce carbon monoxide emissions and inhibits the formation of ground level ozone. However, if alcohol concentration exceeds about 10% by volume, it can cause the engine to run lean and damage the fuel pump. This is why checking fuel quality is sometimes necessary in order to uncover the root cause of a drivability issue. To check fuel quality, you'll need a glass cylinder graduated in milliliters. Now, I, I did buy a glass one first, um, and I broke it. So we're using plastic today, people. Um, I'm not even get a chance to use it before I break it, because I'm a little clumsy. So this is fine. I'll link this in the description below in case you're the same way as I am. Begin by filling the cylinder up to the 90 milliliter mark with fuel. Next, add 10 milliliters of water to bring the liquid level up to the 100 milliliter mark. Now, seal the end of the cylinder and shake the mixture thoroughly. Finally, place the cylinder on a level surface and allow the solution to settle so the liquids can separate. Since water is heavier than gasoline, the water will settle to the bottom of the cylinder along with any alcohol contained in the fuel. This is known as the water extraction method. If the fuel contains any alcohol, the water level will be greater than its initial reading of 10 milliliters. If the new water level exceeds the 20 milliliter mark, it indicates that alcohol concentration is greater than 10%. Under this condition, the tank should be drained and cleaned, and the fuel lines should be flushed using compressed air. In addition, a new in-tank strainer and inline fuel filter should be installed. Now the book doesn't tell me how long I should wait and let the fluids settle and separate. So I'm gonna get back to this car and crimp this wire and I'm gonna come back and let's check it together. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll say that it has settled, but check that out. That is exactly at the 19 mark. So according to the book, it, it, it passes you know, cause we've added 10 milliliters. So it only had what, not even the 10%. Now this is just some generic gas that I got down at the local Exxon station, a gas station I don't even regularly go to. But what I really wanna do next is uh, I wanna go to Bucky's and test some of the ethanol free fuel and see if it truly is ethanol free or see if there's any other hidden alcohols in there. All right, so what do you think? Pretty interesting test, right? Do you wanna do it for yourself now at your own local fuel station? I know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do uh, more of this test, especially now that I have this beaker. So uh, check out the beaker if you, if you wanna do this test as well. And let me know if you test any of your local fuel stations. Let me know what you come up with in terms of ethanol content in your local fuel, like what percentage. And um, yeah, so what, what gas stations should we like collectively avoid? This was an Exxon station. This was an Exxon station. Um, I don't know. It passes, but just barely. I personally don't want to see that. I'd like to see no ethanol, right? So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. I certainly did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which will hopefully uh, be this one. <laughs> all right. Bye. Who laid an egg in the middle of the floor? Who did it? Who did it? Okay, well clearly not you. You lay blue eggs. And you lay blue eggs. And so do you. So who? Did, who did it? Not you, I guess.